In this video, I want to look at some of the image options that you have in WooCommerce. And the first is to be able to add a bit of a gallery to a product page. So I've got my plate here, my morning harvest plate. What I'm going to do, I go over to products here and I go and find it. Now, a gallery in WordPress is one thing, and it sounds the same when you talk about WooCommerce, but actually you handle them differently here. So normally in WordPress, when you go in here and you're going to create a gallery, you go here and you would add some more images. Now in this particular case, we only have one image, so there's no gallery showing here for WordPress. So let's go add some images to this. These are related images. I'm going to go over to my plates and it's in here. There we go. Details. I'm going to add some detailed pictures here. All right, so there they go. So now I've got some details of the plate. Okay, so now I go back to my gallery on my tabs here. And now I could insert a gallery, but you don't do that. That's how WordPress works for galleries. In the case of WooCommerce, all you have to do is upload multiple ones. Okay, you've uploaded your one here. And it, we know, is the featured image. Remember, we set it as the featured image. That's going to be your main product image. So we're all set that way. So we don't have to do anything else. We're all done. We hit update. And now, when we come back to Morning Harvest's page, we're going to see a little gallery. There you go. So it just produces these little thumbnails down here. And when I click on them, I get a nice light show. By the way, this title down here is the title if I go back over to here, title takes itself automatically from the name of the file. And what you want to do, if I go down here, see this fruit detail, if I change that to a proper title, then that gets used over here in this little pop-up. Okay, and I can mouse through it like this. It's kind of hard, you gotta find there each, actually it goes over a few, depends on which side. When you run out of them, it doesn't show anymore. See, there's no other ones. So I have to go back and go back. There we go. So I have my little pop-up gallery. All right, let me show you one more thing here. Let's say you add a bunch of images here and you decide one of them doesn't belong anymore in the gallery. You want to get rid of it. All you have to do is you go over to your gallery and you find the image you don't want in there. Let's say this edging. And you'll see this exclude image has been added by WooCommerce to the WordPress pop-up here. I just click that. Don't insert into post. Don't hit that. Hit save all changes. All right. Do that. Even though you've saved all changes, don't forget to hit update. Always do that. And now when we come back to here, we should lose. There we go. Now, I'm not sure exactly why you would upload an image and then not use it in the gallery. But you might have other purposes perhaps on the site. I don't know that you only want it to show at some point in the description down here. I don't know. It's hard to say when you would use this, but it's possible to use it. Typically, you might just delete the image if you didn't want it anymore. But if you weren't sure and you wanted it later, perhaps, you just hit that exclude button. Anyway, so that gives you an idea of how to use the gallery settings in WooCommerce.